Okay, I thought I'd go ahead and go over this uh, Ed's Chicken Management Spreadsheet. I already did the one on goats. Um, one of the visitors asked for the chicken version, so I provided um, a download link to my personal website and also to this uh, Google Documents. And I'll go ahead and go over this. Um, there's enough data in here to get you started, help you get started. So, you know, if you get the one at the Google, just go ahead and hit File, Save, or Import into yours, whatever it is. Copy it, whatever. Um, you can't actually edit the one that you're. I'm going to link to, but you can copy it into yours and then edit it from there. Um, the one at Google Docs, personally, I think is better to use from your phone or tablet and whereas the one that's on my personal website that's a zip file is better to use on like a desktop computer. Um, it was originally created in LibreOffice Calc but it is uh, Microsoft Excel compatible and also uh, Google Sheets compatible. So when you open it up there's a summary page. You, the summary page is basically just a view. Um, it pulls all of its information if you notice down at the bottom, each one of these are called sheets. So the summary page pulls everything in from these other sheets. Um, basically, it keeps track of the number of chickens that you have that are laying eggs, um, or the current number of chickens, the number that are laying eggs, total eggs so far this year, total edible eggs. Let me explain that. Um, your chickens could lay five eggs, but you might drop one on, to the, on the way into the house. So therefore, this number, total eggs so far this year would be five. Edible eggs only be four because you broke one. Um, total days of production by year. So 68, this is the, there's been 68 days this month. And then knowing the number of eggs you've created this year and the total days, you can come up with a yearly daily average. Now, my daily average over the winter drops down because I don't put lights or anything on my chicken coop. I kind of see it as nature intended chickens to take a break over the winter, and that's exactly what I let them do. So over the winter, the production drops down and then probably toward the end, end of March, first part of April, I'll be back up to seven eggs a day plus one rooster, which is how you get eight chickens. Um, I've had a larger number of chickens and smaller number of chickens. So the version that I'm providing you I already have the two, 2020 year done. Uh, and I went ahead and extended out 2021, 22, 23, and 24. Um, I've been using this since like 2015 or 16, and I basically deleted all the old information. No sense in you having the old, my old chicken counts. So then there's a graph here that also pulls in. Uh, this pulls in from the egg count sheet and it basically keeps track of how many eggs per month and then the daily average per day. Next thing we have is the total fixed cost to date. Fixed costs would be things like housing, fencing, electric fence, uh, that sort of thing. The chicken coop, the chicken run, whether you bought it or built it. Uh, consumables would be things like feed, grains, corn, um, diamaticus earth, that sort of thing. Stuff that's, you know, not part of your fixed cost. Uh, chicken cost to date would be if you purchase chickens. Um, then it sums that up and gives you a grand total. So from the grand total, we also have the total eggs, that grand total. We have total undamaged eggs. Average cost per egg, what that becomes is the total eggs or the fixed cost divided by the total eggs. And then you have the average cost per day excluding fixed, which would be um, this grand total 
minus your fixed cost and then divide it by your total eggs. So see, there's a huge difference. Then down here are some alerts. The alerts come from the roll call page. It basically keeps track of how many chickens you have that are older than three years, which would generally mean that it's time to call them. Uh, chickens that are in need of a health check and chickens that are in need of mite powdering. So, you know, when you first pull this up, you can very quickly just kind of get an overview of your flock. So now I'm going to walk across uh, these other sheets. The next one is your fixed cost. Your fixed cost is where you keep cost track of like your housing. You know, I've gotten here an example, coop cost, run cost, electric fence. Then you've got equipment, which would be like a feeder, a drinker. Uh, I keep pine shavings in a trash can, so I put that in my equipment cost. A tote where I keep my feed close to the chicken coop so I don't have to carry it. And that sort of thing goes under equipment. Cost of stock. This actually gets populated from the roll call page, then other and a total. So this total here, this 1935.09, you will see carries over to here, 1935.09 for total fixed cost to date. All right. Consumables. That is things like your chicken feed, scratch, diamaticus earth, that sort of thing. Um, there's a total at the bottom of this. And then if you look, this 1899 is carried over to your consumables to date. All right. Uh, and basically, you just add. You know the date the item where you got it from the cost the day you started using it the day you finish using it and then what it does is it figures up the total days of use and your average cost per day and then there's also a note column egg count so when you go out to collect your eggs every day this is where you enter your egg count you have a date and as you can see today's the seventh uh, actually today I got three I would add three and three if this is my real one, but you get the idea. So I collected three, none of them were damaged. So I put three in both columns. That adds to the totals. Each month has a total at the bottom. Gives you the grand total, the average over the month. And then there's a quick look up here, the total and the daily for the whole entire year. Roll call is just like in the goat one, where you have the name, the sex, the breed, the approximate born date if you don't know, or the actual date if you do know, date acquired if you purchased it, what it actually cost, whether or not it's laying eggs, then it'll take the approximate born date to today's date, give you the approximate age and years, approximate age and days, how many days left until it's time to call, when you did the last health check, uh, health check is due, when it's next due. Um, now if you notice this, what we're doing is we're taking today's date minus K9. So if we say K9, so it's taking today's date minus the 5th of March and that tells you um, how many days it's been since the health check, right? Then if you go down here, this says if any of these numbers are above 21 right here, then it's basically counting how many lines that are above 21. So if you had four chickens that still needed a health check at 22 days, back on your summary, down here at alerts, it would say four chickens in need of a health check. So that's how you get that. Last time they had a, a mite powdering. Uh, the days since the last time there was a mite powdering. And if you go down here, it'll say if any of these numbers are above 42, it'll count the, the number of lines that are above 42. And then that transfers over to here chickens in need of mite powdering. 
so that's where that comes from then if you have any chickens that have died all of mine have died from predators not natural causes and then it totals up the number of days they lived I use this notes thing a lot of times to keep track of like you know if one got an injury or something I would put in there like its left leg was injured on blah 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 and then if it didn't heal or something or if it died from that I would know that's what happened to it alright so this last one is egg count um, this is pre-made years you can see here pre-made years uh, February 28th or if February only has 28 days which is non-leap year years there's a template for that and if February 29th is a leap year there's also a template for it basically all you have to go in and do is change the years so one thing you would do I'll go ahead and walk you through this um, I don't have 2021 created yet um, so what's going to happen is if you look if you click on this cell it says that it pulls this data from roll call 2020 right so if your flock stays the same you can just reuse that one and you could just take and come up here and say copy go to the next cell for 2021 and paste and see that stayed the same but let's say that your flock changed or something you need to create another one what you could do you could go down to roll call and again I know how I normally do this normally you right click and say copy to new sheet yeah uh, existing spreadsheet um, or duplicate would actually be better duplicate it should ask you for the name I hope yes no maybe Uh, it did say copy so then once you do that if you double click it then you can get rid of that copy of you can go down here change that to 21 and now now they're the same right so now all I have to do let's say that uh, we add another chicken see now we have nine chickens now if I go here back to summary current number of chickens so now I copy this one go to the next cell paste it and I just change that roll call 2020 to roll call 2021 and it should come up and say now I have nine chickens right and that's basically how you do um, all you'd really have to do there's some of these that might come from like that one's roll call egg count. okay so I actually went and googled how to change these dates because it makes it a lot quicker and I wanted you to know how to do it so since next year is a non leap year I selected this template um, basically what you have to do is you have to change the first date so we're gonna go ahead and change it to 21 and then I'm going to change the second one to 21 also now once you have the first two changed you highlight that one and then you press the control button and highlight the second one and then see that green box right there if you put your mouse over it, it turns to a cross if you drag that down watch what happens I'm not going to do them all but I'll go down quite a ways so you can see it see how it changed them all to 2021 but left the days correct so basically you would just keep dragging this all the way down till you get to the bottom which is going to take some time <laughs> but you get the idea and this is how you actually change the year uh, and Google Google Sheets it's a uh, personally I think it's a lot easier to do in LibreOffice Calc 
and I wasn't really sure how to do it in sheets so I had to look it up because I didn't want to leave you hanging um, and go in and manually type all those would be a pain in the butt I'll just tell you that right now so I'm gonna go ahead and change this because you'll need this for next year for 2021 and then you know if it's 2022 you can just create this but I'll go ahead and show you you know once we get this done also what you would do all right so now that you got the year changed what you would do is you would right click and select um, duplicate which seems to take a minute Now where it says copy of egg template, so what we would do is we would double click that and we would change this to egg count. Two thousand twenty one. And then once you have that done, you could drag it up here to where the other egg counts at. And then back on your um, back on your summary page where was it that was using that right here total eggs so far so then you would copy the one that has egg count you would go to the next 2021 and you'd hit paste but then you would change this to 2021 up here and since there haven't been any eggs for 2021, it's blank. Hopefully, this will help you get started. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, and that, that's all I've got.